Steve Hansen is the College of William and Mary's Vice Provost of Academic and International Affairs. He's traveled to Russia dozens of times over the last 35 years and is an expert in the country's history and politics. WHRO spoke with Hansen about the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine. Welcome, Steve. Thanks for speaking with us. My pleasure. Can you describe for us what's happening in Ukraine right now? Well, it's one of the most significant geopolitical moments really in our lifetimes. Um, And this kind of uh, language is not hyperbolic at the moment. Uh, We are definitely talking about a new era in the global order. The most dramatic land conflict war uh, in Europe since World War II. We are talking about an all-out attack on the entirety of a sovereign state, all of Ukraine. Ukraine and Russia have a long history. How do Russian leaders like Putin view Ukraine? Probably the most important place to start is that Ukraine has been a internationally recognized sovereign state since the collapse of the Soviet Union. The reason Putin doesn't really recognize this or understand it is that his vision of Ukraine is an outdated, sort of old mythological one uh, told from the perspective of a Russian who somehow thinks that the birthplace of Russia was Kiev and Rus, that the old stories of how that lineage led to the rise of Moscow and ultimately of the Russian Empire are still the salient ways to define the relationship between the two nations. This was not a kind of pragmatic figure uh, who might stop short of all-out assault, but really somehow a person who believes it's his historical mission to unite the Russias, um, parts of what he thinks are all Russia that are actually independent countries. Now, this isn't the first time that Russia's used military power in Ukraine over the last decade. How have those instances preceded this invasion? You know, Putin has been uh, upset about the settlement of the Soviet conflicts and the, the collapse of the Soviet Union for really almost his entire presidency, and he's made that very clear. He was a man shaped by the collapse of the Soviet Union, which disrupted his own career as a KGB colonel in East Germany, and returned back to Russia to find the country, in his view, humiliated, uh, weakened economically in crisis in the 1990s. So his whole life, his whole political life at least, he's really seen uh, this settlement of the Soviet Union's collapse as illegitimate. And he's nurtured grievances ever since that the West, the United States in particular, somehow ignore the Russian point of view on that collapse to assert Russian geopolitical influence and military influence in 2008 in Georgia, let's say, in South Ossetia and Abkhazia, or in 2014 in the Donbass and in Crimea, which he annexed. But, um, you know, the other thing to point out is that this is just a completely different scale. Uh, It's a military assault on the entirety of an independent state. What role does the U.S. have in this conflict? Well, the U.S. is absolutely vital to the response. Um, The Biden administration has proven to be quite adept. Uh, I, I really give it high marks. And I would mention two things in particular. One was the uh, really skillful way in which the administration systematically debunked the kinds of disinformation that Putin and the Putin regime was using to try to create a pretext for an invasion. And the other is through consultation with allies, really careful work uh, with Europe and with NATO uh, to be sure that whether it's sanctions policy, whether it's military policy, whether it's simply the foreign policy rhetoric, uh, that these statements are very aligned. Where do you see this going uh, for Ukraine, for Russia, and globally? Yeah, I mean, first of all, my heart goes out to the people of Ukraine uh, who are suffering so mightily, and um, the casualties on both sides are going to be just awful. Also, there will be hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of displaced people. Already there are mass um, exodus uh, of people from Kiev and other uh, cities toward the front. So the humanitarian crisis is just going to be awful. And and in Russia, too, there's no avoiding casualties and death. And um, I think that is going to get known in Russia very quickly. So that leads to a second point I would make about Russia. Um, It is my view that this invasion will likely weaken Putin's regime fairly significantly. This invasion is profoundly unpopular in Russia and will become much more so as the scale of the costs become known. I think the elite itself, Putin's closest leaders, a lot of them are quite surprised themselves that it went this far. They are going to be hit hard by sanctions that are more unified and more serious than in the past. I don't think they're all going to feel like this was a great idea and they need to keep supporting the regime. Thank you so much for talking with us, Steve. I'm happy to do it. And again, my heart goes out to the people suffering in this invasion.